I got to be this guy, you know? Sober Junkie has evolved to keep me alive and allow me to just spread this message, man. And that's what I was telling you guys about earlier. I was feeling on my own, not from anybody else, but me and God, that I needed to stop, man, smoking mm-hmm. weed. And that's been such a big part of who I am. Right. You know, I got nine years clean using cannabis, and that was what got me famous. That's what put me on, on, did all the shows. I was doing high times and high life festival and all that. And I wasn't going in there and smoking and hitting bongs with people. and do, That's not my deal. I always, always told everybody it's medicine, and I use it as medicine. Second? And I was, Can you hang? but I don't feel like it's that way no more. What does what using it as medicine look like? So I would smoke before bed. I was unable to eat when I got clean. So I used it to withdraw first. I never smoked weed. It was a waste of time for me. Like, I was like, what do you want me to smoke weed for? Like, can I put that in a syringe? Like, it's not going to do nothing, you know? So when right. it happened and I'm at the meeting and I come back and I'm like, babe, let me just do, let me just call my boy. Let me get a, a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to. I just need to get well. I'm sick right now. I feel horrible. There's no way I can do this. She's like, nah, why don't you smoke weed? And I'm like, weed? What What do you mean? I said, that ain't going to do nothing for me, babe. I said, I need something. I'm sick. I could die. I remember I was telling her, I could die. You want me to die? I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Right? And she's like, no, you're not. Call your friends and get weed. That's it. That's all I'm going to do. And I slept for three days. And I smoked. And I'd wake up. And it helped me eat. It helped me sleep. But now, nine years of doing this, and it's taken this long as I'm realizing it that I, I passed the point where it was medicine. You know? And that's hard for me to say because it is who I built myself as. I'm telling you, I was talking to my manager today and he was like, SJ, like, I feel like God has something bigger for you, bro. And he's in the cannabis industry. This yeah. dude has made his fortune on it. Yeah. He's like, Why would he come up to you with that? I, because he cares about me. Yeah, because 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 let's just get honest. Yeah, because you were doing it like all the time. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Wake there up in the morning, go. roll it up. So, oh, so it wasn't medicine. There we anymore. go. It there has not. It's not, lately. It hasn't been. Yeah. You know, and and I think I would trick myself to say, oh, I need it right now. I need it right now. My son, I was driving here and I was like, man, I'm in so much pain and this and that. And he's like, it got out of my head. Like something happened, and then I just stopped talking about it. When we we're sitting with my manager, my son's like, Dad, you haven't smoked at all. Pain today. what? Pain what? So I, I was rear ended in an accident in, two, in 01. And that's how it all started. Um, they had put me on Oxycontin. And back then, when it was in 01, it was a big thing. Yeah, I was, that's my, that was my thing. Well, see, now I, I was like, okay, I've got to be able to um, do something, right? So my doctor takes me off it. And I'm like, wait a minute, I need this. What are you doing? He said, oh, no, you, you've been taking too much, da-da-da-da-da. I was abusing the heck out of him. Yeah, I, I've yes. heard about this Isn't shit. Isn't that a trip? Yeah, I don't really know about any of that. I, all I know is, like, y- you're being drawn to the light. Mm, the clarity. Mm, yeah, that comp- happens to us, man. Yeah, and, and that's rad. It's not I, always I, what you want to right. see. <laughs> I'm, like, really, really, like, stoked and, like, proud of you for, like, being able to, like, you know go that way instead right. of like oh i'm gonna take a couple little barbage like a little xanax right. also or like you know right. like there's just two Absolutely. paths i'm sure you've thought about like you know maybe a little fucking painkillers with right. the with the weed i don't know right. maybe a little drink no, here no and there beer no alcohol nope. nothing just nope. just can't yeah, if i drink one beer it's a wrap <laughs> I, it's over dude. yeah i know yeah just yeah and that's why it's so hard with my wife and I and I didn't want. She's like, dude, you're you're the one. I'm just drinking. You know, I go to work. I take care of my stuff. Da 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 da. And I'm like, you're functioning alcoholic. But right. she, now yeah. she's clean. Now she is. Yes. Well, how long? Wow. So five months. Really? And she's yeah. doing program or? No, nope, she's not doing program. She works twenty four. That girl has one day off. She sleeps during the day. Literally wakes up. She works for the post office. So her she's gone twenty four seven. But, but hopefully like, that'll be something. Like I, I guarantee, if I invited her to a meeting, she'd go with me. But what about weed? No, she doesn't. So she's like sober. Yeah, sober. she's sober, sober all the way, hundred percent. So that's like for me too. Like, like that's to dope. do that with her together. Like she doesn't use cannabis. She, she actually has a brand new bong, and it's just for art. Oh wow! And it's a beautiful Jerome Baker. That's a good friend of mine, Jason Harris. He's an, an amazing glass blower, and um, it's beautiful. But mm. she's just like. You know, I think it's great that you stopped, man. That you that you managed to just just do weed. 
Right. You know? And that's and I and I felt like well, no, I'm not shoving needles in my arm. He, I'm not. What, what he's saying though is that he he's he stopped smoking weed too. Yeah. Today. Did, did you today? Uh, wow. Today, today's the first day. Oh wow. Yeah, it's well, crazy. What he's saying well, is this that will like help you the get weed. A little motivation. Well, that's what I was yeah. feeling. He's the, the smoking the weed part that's is over. becoming unmanageable. Oh wow. Yeah. And now he's he, that's one of the reasons. Bro, I'm waking up, rolling up, just you know what I mean? Just yeah. it's not it, it's not for how I was using it. I was forever. Yeah. And I just want to be honest with you. My interpretation, which is only mine and who knows. Right. But it was the one where you said you're clean, right? And I'm like, oh, yeah, okay, cool, right on. But then when you said cannabis, I thought, well, you're not clean, but right on, man. You're doing yeah, yeah, your yeah, thing. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. And now that you're trying to go for the whole thing, I think that's really, what am I going to say? Like, real and admirable and mm. fuck yeah. Thank you. I really appreciate and that. And I'm glad that your boy is like, got your back because yeah, I'm blessed man was he smoking like a lot maybe too much you don't want to throw me under the bus look at him <laughs> not really but, but before bed and every day for sure though yeah so why did you he just you, loves you no matter what you, you, you got your own hat my bubble. That's, yeah. dope. Yeah, that's cool Dude. why did you care that he got completely sober or I want, want him to well, I feel like it would help change his mindset a lot and help him focus on certain things more too because mm. you could talk of the freely. Time, he'd be at night time and he'd smoke his medicine and then he'd go out, but like there are sometimes be certain times where the family would want to hang out and he'd just be out in bed or something. Mm -hmm. So he wasn't as present as you think he could be, I guess. And he was usually a lot on his phone when he was doing his medicine, doing business, and I really didn't have a lot of time to spend with him either. Mm. So that's why this trip meant a lot to me as well, because that means he got to come clean, and now he actually seemed completely clean, and we're going to be able to spend a lot more time together as a father and son, and it means a lot to me. Yeah, you're gonna choke me up, kid. That's a wow. dope. You got a dope. You're you're cool. You're a cool kid, man. That's amazing, dude. I and and that's the other thing about like my wife is, it, we're like less present. You know, like she gets high and it's cool. She she gets into a kind of a good mood, but like, she's just not like, I'm not with her. I'm not. Right. She's not on the same level I'm on, and I don't feel like she's as present. You know, part, man. so and it's true because I'll be to where I'm feeling like I'm just medicating, and then I'm in I'm in the phone and I'm posting or I'm doing yeah. whatever. Yeah, but it's I'm super fi fixated on it. You know, yeah. and he's like, "Hey, Dad, I want to show you something," and it might be just a trick on his tech deck because mm -hmm. he he's killing it. He loves it. And I was like, I used to do that when I was a kid, tech mm -hmm. decking, and I won't pay attention. So I'll be like, "Son, I'm working." Hold yeah, on, yeah. I'm working. I'm, you know, and it's always this, this. You know, go. Our lives are fast. Go, yeah. go, 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 go. <clears throat> yeah. So without cannabis, it's gonna free a lot of time up. Yeah. You know, it, it, it will. I, I need to, man. It, I was in there pissing right now, and I'm like, holy shit, bro, this is it. 